you know, as someone who's, you know, grown up in this country, who's done her schooling, her university education in this country, and then having also exposed myself to how it's done in other parts of the world, I feel that there is a need to start that innovation process right from school. And I think we have to encourage children to question, to not just accept what they are taught, but to keep thinking about what they are taught and to see how they could do things differently or what are the things they would like to ask about what they've been taught. You know, I think that spirit of inquiry has to come in right from the start. And this has to carry all the way through, uh, you know, college and university education. Because I believe that one of the big problems we have in this country is that we just accept what we are told. And we don't have that spirit of inquiry, which suddenly unleashes itself when we go overseas and where the environment is very different and where we are able to question and inquire and challenge some of these ideas. That's what we need here. Let's look at medical education, okay, which I think is a very important part of our healthcare ecosystem. I would love to see our medical programs insist on translational research. I think every medical student must participate in a novel clinical trial so that they understand what is new knowledge about? What is creating new knowledge all about? What is creating new medical uh, regimens all about? I think these are very important things to inculcate in our uh, you know, teachings, in our academic cur curricula. So I would like to see a huge uh, change in the way we teach everyone at various levels because I think that's going to make a big difference to this spirit of inquiry. You know, one of the big aspects of innovation is about understanding the value of innovation. Any innovative idea is about creating value. It's about actually wealth creation. So if we can somehow get people to understand that ideas are not free, and more importantly, converting those ideas into action or into commercial products is huge value creation opportunities. Then I think people will understand what innovation is all about. So I think we have to understand the value of innovation and the fact that innovation is about value creation and that innovation is about wealth creation and that innovation is about monetizing an idea. So if we can get into that kind of thinking, then I think people will realize that, you know, coming up with new ideas and, you know, translating them into action is not about doing something free of cost, but it's something about creating value. So I think that's something that I would like people to also understand when they talk about innovation. You know, India has humongous challenges, but Challenges always throw up great innovation opportunities. And for a country like India, I think we certainly need to leapfrog using technology, look, using new ideas, and really you know, innovate as much as we can to not only overcome these challenges, but to really sort of leapfrog and take us into what we believe is a leadership opportunity. Now, let's look at some of the very basic challenges we have as a country. We certainly all acknowledge the fact that we have huge healthcare challenges. There's a huge challenge that we face in terms of just portable water, you know, clean drinking water, and the availability of water for irrigation itself is a big challenge. We have infrastructure challenges. We have, you know, sustainability challenges all across the country. And I think there are some marvelous ideas for us to innovate. The problem I believe that we face in our country is that somehow we have kind of slipped into an inertia, an innovation inertia, which doesn't allow us to translate these ideas into action. 
And I think that's where we need to really focus. You know, there are no dearth of ideas, but we need to basically create an environment where people are not afraid to express their ideas. We are very poor at selling ideas and even poorer at converting them into action. So to me, these are some of the things I think we really need to focus on.